Got these stinky socks from the fishing trip. I'm gonna throw them up here for my wife. Welcome. Getting packed up. Boo and I are headed over to my buddy's house. Um, we're going to Hickory, North Carolina in the morning. Find some good light. Here we go. So the first weekend in April every year is youth turkey season. Opening day of turkey season. But we don't go turkey hunting. We go to Hickory, North Carolina for the groundhog shoot. And it's a long range competition. Um, you shoot at three different distances and you try to hit a groundhog silhouette with a little dot in his head and a dot on his chest. I'm out of breath. I'm fat, okay? All right, I'm a big boy. And going up and down them steps is wearing me out. I'm sweating. So we're fixing to load up and head that way. I'm going to introduce you to my good friend, my best friend, Kristen. Yes, he has a girl's name, but he owns that son of a gun, you hear me? He owns it. Wears it with pride. So let's go see him. All right, boo, let's go. Pooch is upset, he can't go. Look at him. I don't wanna go, man. I don't wanna go. He can't go, you wanna sit in front or the back? Front. Front? Yeah. All right, hand me your stuff. I keep my pillow. Yeah, you can keep your pillow up there if you want to. Sure, you got everything? Yeah. How's that song go? Long-haired hippie people need not apply. He has no idea what I'm talking about. Hi, buddy. I love you. I'm a buddy. I'm a buddy. Got a couple days supply of dip here. My dip is a falling. What you got? Toy. You got a toy? Yeah. What kind of toy you got there? A, a car. A car? Why ain't you got a truck? If it is a truck thing. Oh, it is a truck. My bad. I'm sorry. You better be. I better be. You're right. All right, we got to do inventory check, boo. You got your pillow? Check. Check. You got your uh, allergy medicine? Check. You got some clothes? Check. You got a jacket? Uh-oh. Just in case, because we're going to be in towards the mountains. Let's, let's see what you got. All right, so I'm going to do a checklist. Got my rifle for God and country. Come on. Got my clothes and some camera gear. Got my roll. Got my roll. Slow your roll, man. I got my gun box, tripod. I got bullets. I think that's it. I hope that's it. All right, so buckle up, man. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Sure, we got everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating. It's tough being fat and old. I'm backing up! I've got to clean that off somewhere, boo. We're gonna have to stop somewhere and clean this off. I'm sick and tired of my windshield being filthy, freaking giant bugs in South Carolina last weekend. But, um, oh, we gotta get fuel too. Son of a biscuit. Biscuit! Um, so he's like a little over two hours away, so. Yeah, we're, we've kind of got that long distance relationship going on. But uh, he's a real cool cat. I think you guys are going to enjoy him. And um, so we're going to head that way, get some gas, clean my windshield off. Might even wash the truck off. I don't know. And uh, text message. And then we're going to head to old KK's house. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Come along with us. Sheets! They got gas for a dollar seventy-five over there. You thought I said something ugly, didn't you? <laughs> I said sheets. Gas station. That's the brand new one. They just opened it yesterday morning. All these stations play some more whaling or something. Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash and all the good the good country.
Did you fart? No. Oh, that was me. Sorry. Alright, buddy. Let's go. It's hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm bringing fire. Sausage biscuit for just one dollar. Prices and participation may vary. Nothing feels quite like a temper beat it. And now through Sunday at Sleep East, save up to 50% off Temper Supreme Breeze and Fergo Premier Adjustable. Right. We have arrived, boo. Wake up, buddy. <laughs> well, we are here. Funny thing is, Kristen's not. We're gonna go ahead and trash the place before he gets here. <laughs> There's animals on the wall staring back at you at Kristen's house. Look at my man's bucks on the wall. Ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? What's up, turkey? Killed that one with his bow. His beard is almost as nice as mine. That's a nice one. That's Ohio right there. Here's a cool thing. Uh, our good buddy Jay Jarrett at Jarrett Rifles has loaned us one of their 300 Jarretts. So we're going to shoot that tomorrow at the uh, at the competition. So I'm looking forward to seeing that thing. Kristen's got it in his gun safe, I'm sure. So when he gets here, we'll take a look at that. Kristen's here. Don't be staring at my daggone boots. That's right. Yeah. Beef man. The beef man. Christian, your coon dogs have gained some weight. <laughs> Dilly! Get him, Dilly! Get him, Dilly! Rip! Skid him! Can I just have Come a here. Ow! <laughs> you want it? Ow! <laughs> it's on now. Let's take a look at that Jarrett rifle. Yeah, this I like that hat. You didn't get me one. <laughs> Look at that hat. He didn't get me one. That one's nicer than mine. I mean, it still says Jared on it. Hold on. Just stand right there. It still says Jared on it. Don't go anywhere. You can kiss my. <laughs> Look, it matches my outfit. Well, technically, then he got me a hat. He just ain't decided which one he's gonna <laughs> give me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look at this. <laughs> yeah, baby. Man, look at that. Let's get it out here in the good. Let's get it out here in good light. We can, we can take a good look at it. This right here is the Mama Jamma of bolt action rifles right here. It's a 300 Jarrett. Check that bad boy out. Just to give you some. Just to give you some. Um, Look at the freaking muzzle on that son of a gun, boy. Uh, one thing's gonna happen tomorrow. The people beside us is gonna hate our guts. <laughs> yeah, when I shot it Wednesday, they they didn't like it at all. 300 Jarrett, baby. Right, straight, 
from Jarrett Rifles in South Carolina. That's beautiful. Experimental Long Ranger. We're going to experiment with that rig tomorrow. This is we? one of the first, I yeah. think, Long Rangers that they built. Yeah. I can't wait, man. I'm going to go out and get one of the bullets so I can show you a 300 wind mag versus right. a... Yeah, so that's a 300, it's a 300 Jarrett. So it's not a production 300 wind mag or anything like that. It's their own, it's their own proprietary caliber, the 300 Jarrett. So we're going to show you all the difference between a 300 wind mag and a 300 Jarrett. So this is my 300 wind mag, what I normally load. All right. That's a 150 gram ballistic tip. This is a 300 Jarrett which is a 210 grain burger VLD. But you can see, it's not just the bullet, but you can see how much yeah, more taller. case it's got. And the shoulder's different too. Yeah. The shoulder, it's not shorter. as deep as a shoulder. Yeah. It's a longer case, so it holds more powder. It's pushing a, a 210 grain burger at 3,000 feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 3,000 feet per second right there, man. That's no joke. Look at that rascal. Ain't it schmexy? It's schmexy. You thought a 300 wind mag was bad. Check out the Jarrett. So Christian and I are shooting our ARs that we built. He built a six millimeter AR, and then you, you saw the one I put in my gun case. It's a, there's Christian with the side charging upper like I got on mine. Eyes and our arms. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. But uh, so he's shooting a six mil. I'm shooting a six five, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna shoot the three hundred Jarrett. We can you can shoot two rifles, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be awesome, awesome. Sawsome. It's gonna be awesome, sauce. Look, Copenhagen. Yeah. Look at it. Will you look at it? It's awesome. Well. We got to get up about four o'clock in the morning, so we're gonna call it a night and get ready for bed or couch, one of the two. We'll see y'all about four, four fifteen in the morning. Good night. Well, it's four thirty-five in the morning, and I want to get back in the bed. Oh, look at that. You dizzy yet? Uh, loading up, fixing to head out. Christian got some kind of. Where'd it go? Jacked up water for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we're here, and my boy Boo decided he's gonna shoot too, so he's gonna get in on his first competition shoot. I'm gonna shoot the, the Grendel. Look out, buddy. So, we got us a tent set up here so we can hang out. And down there's the range. Get in that shelter right there, and that's what we're shooting. Way down there. Got 500. 300 and there's a hundred over there So three shots One three and five hundred yards Look at the mess You made in my truck Why are you so messy? Goodness that boy eats like cookie monster just crap those everywhere Got our little cleaning spot set up here Clean the ARs on this one and the 300 Jared on that one. See all Kristen's dad. He's big time. He's, he's got his own weather station and stuff going on over here. Last year when we were here, wind was blowing about 20 some mile an hour. He had to aim way off your target to compensate for wind. If you hit the egg at 500 yards, you get your name put on this plaque right here. So maybe that'll happen for one of us today. 
Where's Kristen's name at, buddy? Right. There. Right there. 2011, he smacked it. His daddy smacked it in 2010. How many times your dad on here? One. 30 plus years, one so, time. Kristen's daddy's been shooting this for 30 some years. Hit it one time. Yeah. Kristen's been here what? Four years? I think this is my fifth one. I shot it. I hit it my second year. Fifth right year. He hit it on his second second year. Daddy hadn't had it again since. We're gonna try it again today. Hopefully, one out of us will hit an egg today. That'd be pretty cool. 500 yards. 500 yards hit an egg. You gonna hit the egg, B? You are. I hear you. <laughs> so here's the targets right here. Well, first I'm not sure I can even see a dang target. Oh. Why are you shooting the same gun? Target? What, you running five guns? No. So you got your, your heat number, your lane letter, and uh, you shoot at those three different distances three different times and uh if you hit in the body you get i forget the point system but you get a certain amount of points for hitting in the body and a certain amount of points for hitting in the small dots <clears throat> and if you just hit paper outside the body you don't get anything so depending on conditions and things like that sometimes if you hit paper if you can get all nine shots on paper you're done pretty good <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fire in the hole. We uh we just had our Lord of mercy! Oh, oh just had our drivers meeting pretty much or shooters meeting. In prayer for safety. And they got uh the first the first relay going, so it's time for us to start getting our mess together. Can you hear me? Can you hear they're not working good, can you hear me? You can hear me? They're, they're, they're defective. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Long range no, shooting is all about mathematics. What, which one we do? Kind of first? math you got going on there. That's that's what we're trying to figure out right now. <laughs> um, it is a 130 grain um, Sierra. The uh, 270. Yes. Okay. Sierra um, Game King. Can't get there from here. Size matters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. And when you're squeezing, keep the cross. Everybody fire! Okay. You just let me know when you're ready, you know. Okay. Jerk it, okay? Jerk it. You jerked it, that's why you did it. You jerked it, okay? Get it on the, get it on the cross. You just let me know when you're ready. Squeeze. It stops. Squeeze. Yeah. All right, now squeeze. Good job. Good job. Don't jump your head. Keep your head down. One more. Awesome. They play video games. You're doing awesome. Good job. Hey. You did it. Line in space. Relay 16 to the line. 16 to the line. 17. Time for the Jarrett. You may insert the bolt.
think that Jarrett did the trick. I'm gonna go check our scores out. I should never have done that different load. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's what we all say. Man, I, I should have never I should have never loaded them. I should have brought my other loads. I should have brought the brought the loads I know that work. What's your number? 196. 162. No, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. 170B. There we go. Good job, boo. Look, okay, that right there is from you jerking it. You know what I'm saying? Remember next time to squeeze and you, you'd be good. That's the 300. That's the 300. That's my AR. Put two right there. And that's boo. Two shots. One shot. I told Larry, I said, Larry, I said, when, I, when this gun goes off, you watch and see what happens. <laughs> So, well, first time, the first time I fired, I looked up at Larry, he said, oh, it won't that bad. <laughs> so I giggled a little bit and I thought, yeah, that's what not these two people beside me thinking, right? <laughs> so when I stopped to film you, I was filming you and you fired that first shot and dude, it's like, it's, it's like somebody just, <laughs> I mean, it's, it, you can, I mean, it, it it's like a roller coaster just hits you in the face, right? <laughs> dragster. That's what yeah. it is. It's a dragster. Whoa! <laughs> so when it the first when you shot first, looked up at Larry and Larry grinned and that guy went. <laughs> and he looked around the corner at you would. I said, yeah, baby. <laughs> 300 jerks. <laughs> it was like shooting a 50 cal in there, yeah. man. It's freaking awesome. What do we do when we're waiting? First time to shoot again. We eat cake. <laughs> that is some good cake. You hear me? Like once a year we get the best cake in the world. Right? You can come up here and shoot guns if you want to, but you need to come eat this cake. That's what you need to do. How many Hershey bars you say was in there? At least a half a dozen. <laughs> Look at it, man. Got ice and got chips. Oh, got, what was that? All uh, pecans it's or almonds or something? <sighs> what do you think, boo? They good? Don't boy, don't you don't you drop don't you drop that? You drop one, They'll call the cops there. if you drop that. That gum wind is howling. Well, it ain't howling, but it's blowing way more than I want it to be. You think I hit it? I hope so. <laughs> All right, you're next. Can you hand me that piece of brass right there? You may fire. Good job. All right. Huh? Okay, pay attention to B, okay? Good job. How'd that feel? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I think I got all three in there. Ain't sure. Kristen. 170. Okay. Oh, it's my last chance over here. On this. I only put one in there. So I got my shimagi right there. I'm going to put it over the stock, see if I can get my cheek well a little bit higher. Cease fire. Make the line safe. Relay number 18 to the line, please. 18. Grant and Ed Shooter, get ready. Target time. Target time, boo. Let's go see how bad we did. I put, I put left in and it still didn't come over. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm about to see if my left was hey, enough. Hey, you know what? That ain't bad. That's nine by God bullets on <laughs> paper. <laughs> That's nine bullets on paper. I got a rumor. Where's Riley? Right there. Come get this bullet right here. It's egg time, y'all. Time to go after the egg. They're out there squeezing chickens right now. First egg. Got it. All right, buddy. Kristen got the egg.
Still there? He's swinging. He, he came close. close. He came close. I missed. Missed. All right, guys, I'm going to leave y'all with this right here today. We had a great time at the shoot, hanging out with my best friend here, Kristen, and uh, my boy's first match, and I think it's something we're going to try to do every year. Maybe it'll be something that he can do with his daddy, just me and him. And partly why I'm saying that is we're going to have a little moment here with you. There's a fella here who's been coming up here with his dad for 20-some 20, 20 years. 20 years. 20 or so years. I don't know how bad the wind's hitting, but him and his dad and his two boys have been coming up here for 20 some years and shooting. Well, he died a few months ago. And just to show you guys how America was built on freedom, on why we think our gun rights are so important, this is why. Get a group of guys together that that believe in each other. They're friends. They're families. They grow up around guns. They grow up shooting. They grow up doing things like this. This man is going to put his daddy's ashes down here at the 500 yard line down here. That's America, guys. That's what we are. That's what we should do. We should all band together as families, one big family, the Second Amendment family, and. I'm gonna to try to be respectful for this man down here, but I'm gonna film him putting his daddy's ashes out down here at the 500 yard. This is something that his daddy loved doing with his family and his boys, and he's gonna be able to do it forever by being here at this range. And if that don't tug at your heartstrings, you need to check your freaking bootstraps, make sure they're pulled up and start being a man, because that's what America is. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. And, uh, God bless America. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below, and take a family member out shooting guns. Start them when they're like this right here and bring them up to you. They spread their ashes on a 500 yard line. Amen. I appreciate y'all watching. We're just really overwhelmed. Thankful that everybody's participating. Just want to leave a little piece of him behind. He really liked it here. Absolutely. And he, he cared for all of you. He would always ask about you when he wasn't here. Mm -hmm. So we, we really appreciate you. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate you. Bill, right here, man. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. That's how it's done, America. Take notes. <laughs>